In this video, you will learn how to use the map screen and its options and features. This will help all icon field users to work more effectively. We start in the application measure. We see the map screen with the measure bar and the navigation bar. The top bar includes the status bar and information bar. The bottom bar includes the function bar and map handler. Let us start with the status bar. Left section called Application Key shows which application is in use and which project, job, and coordinate system are active. Middle section called Status 1 shows the status of the connected device. Here we can also edit functions and status of the connected device. In this exercise, we connect to a GNSS rover, so Status 1 is important to check the position, quality, and number of satellites. Right section called Status 2 contains information specific to the connected device. If we use a total station, it shows prism settings and search functions. If we use a GNSS rover, it shows the communication status. Next to the status bar, we see the information bar showing information relevant for the current action being carried out. It shows three forms of information. Text guidance for the next steps while you carry out functions. Values of the actual measurement. Guidance text and arrow leading you while staking out an element. In case of an error, a warning bar appears above the information bar. You should take these warnings seriously and follow their guidance. We can configure the information bar when we tap and hold on it. We tap on the I in the top right corner to access the help pictures available for every application. These pictures explain all values configurable for the information bar depending on application and connected device. We jump to the bottom bar and start from the right. The five buttons in light gray comprise the map handler. From right to left, we first see the map view manager. Here we can choose which data we see on the map by turning on or off files or specific layers of files. Next, we have buttons to zoom in and out. Both buttons have additional functionality. Tap and hold on Zoom In activates the Smart Zoom mode. When active, tapping on the map will zoom in on the tapped position. Tap and hold on Zoom Out to display the full extent of the active data. The second button from the left opens the View panel, which provides helpful tools for the map view, like multi-view config, viewing options, or quick codes. The listmost button navigates to the point list and point search of the current active job. The other part of the bottom bar is the function bar. This includes the favorites button, which can be a shortcut to setup, to the camera, and to the calculator. We can also add functions from the measure bar to the favorites button. Here is how. We tap and hold on the measure bar to access the configuration screen. Tap and hold on Attributes and confirm the message. Attributes is now in the Favorites. The function bar also contains the toolbox. Here you find all the tools we need to work within an application. Most of the tools are application specific, but some tools are common. Leftmost button is the Home button which exits the application and brings us back to the home menu. Finally, let us have a look at the map and its functions. The main part is the measure bar. It is predefined for every application and some tools, but we can configure it to meet our specific needs. The measure bar can provide up to three different functions while we are measuring. The top left corner holds the navigation bar. It includes the scale bar showing the current map zoom level and the north arrow for orientation. 
we can move the map view in pan or rotate mode. Per default, we are in pan mode. Use one finger to pan the map. Now we switch to rotate mode. Use one finger to rotate the map. Use two fingers to pan the map. In both modes, use two fingers to zoom in and out. To return to the 2D top view, simply press the north arrow. That's it. You have learned how to use the map view and the different bars to work effectively with icon field in any application. As the logical next step, you may want to watch a video about measuring points.